So if that's not clear, the water's coming in through here and running outside. There's an outer tube and an inner tube. The inner tube is connected to this apparatus. The outer tube just hooks up to the water. So we get cold water running along the top and then you can see the liquid condensing on the inside of the inner tube that drips down and that's your distilled separated water. This is a distillation apparatus. What we have here is we have a uh, round bottom flask that has a mixture of water and food coloring in it and that we're going to heat using a Bunsen burner and then over here we have some tubing coming out of a sink that feeds in right here and that brings cool water along here and then it comes out through this tubing and back down the drain. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up this liquid solution over here and then as we do that we're also going to turn on the sink. And so now we have water flowing from here through up into here. And what's going to happen is as this gets warmer and warmer in here, this is going to start to turn more and more into steam. That steam is going to come up here and when it hits this particular part of tubing here, we have water running along the outside of the tubing that's going to cool down that steam and cause it to condense into liquid water over here. Uh, and then eventually we'll see that dripping start to come out through here. So the separation is now going and we have the water coming off of this because water is at a lower boiling point than the whatever the substance is that's used for the food coloring here. So we see the water coming over here in a much purer state than we have over here. And we can tell because this is colorless and this still has obviously the food coloring in it. So we're doing a separation here based on boiling points uh, and that's how this apparatus works. The trade-off with this is that it takes a lot of energy to boil the water so therefore this is not a good means to do a separation on an engineering large scale. You can know here that you've got the steam, which you can't see, but then you can see it condensing into the liquid along here and then dripping down through here. If we were running the water through here, then it would really limit how much of this would turn back into this rather than just escape the steam here and also limit the flow.